Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Cleon today, or tonight, because we're doing a late stream. Mm. Uh. <laughs> That's what, like the third stream in a row that you burped in the intro? Sorry! <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Did it, uh, we are uh, captain today, or uh, uh, tonight, I've messed up again, along with... First Matrix here at your service, and my captain's name is Halion. He forgot his own name. <laughs> uh, but yeah, welcome back to Raymond Origins. Possibly the last stream we'll do with this, because off screen I did manage to get, well, 200 electunes. Which means that we now have access to every single one of the teeth runs, or the, the, tricky, the, the, the tricky treasure levels. So let's get started on that, and then, uh, unless we get stuck on these, we'll get to the land of the livid dead. Oh dear. <clears throat> okay, risky ruin. This is like, well, it's a water level, so of course there's going to be underwater parts to this. Uh, those have been... Actually, the other water one we got in like two tries, didn't we? So I don't think it'll be that hard. The one we, we did it on, on first try. Could be. It, it turned out a lot easier than the than the ice one, at least. Okay, small hops there. Oh dear. I, I realize it's gonna be one of those weird days. <laughs> You're more confused than usual, including me, who <laughs> randomly fell asleep after five... five in the afternoon or early evening, woke up half seven, feeling confused on the thing. What happened to one of a half hour? <laughs> Ooh, that's just... damn it. Just a bit too hard on the press there. Okay, you're really going for precision jumps here with the spikes. Yep. Okay, I managed to launch myself off screen there. Long jump, I'm short surprised. jump. Yep. Where the hell are. Where even... <laughs> okay, there was water underneath there without piranhas in it. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. What did we blow up on that time? <laughs> oh well. Yeah, these... They're a bit tricky, but I just need to get the timing down. Like that. <laughs> I see as I just get a, like an inch short on the rope. <laughs> uh, like, like you totally failed to me. As frustrating as this game can be in some spots, a cough, cough, certain ice level, it is still a lot of fun. Here we go, recovered. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, there's not much story here. It is a bit more challenging in some places and all that, but it's still better than Rayman 3. Uh, yeah. Like it, again, Rayman 3 isn't bad, it just doesn't. And damn it, it doesn't measure up to the previous games, sadly. Yeah, all the games that comes after it. You jumped too far. <laughs> I think you went the wrong way. There we go. Just barely dodged the spike there. At least we don't have to keep up as much as in other levels. So we do have a bit more leniency on that. A case in point. <laughs> that got close. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, come on, damn it, it, it. Oh, Don't these stupid things. How long is this? 
Yes, the grabbers are here again as well. The turning in Ooh. The turning on the water here is a bit less tight than you'd really want it to. Let's go under. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, come on. It has to be at the end now. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was a tense one there. <laughs> yeah, like, it was a rough start, but it went from rough start to... How long is this? <laughs> okay. I was worried this was to be one of those levels that would drive us insane to not finish it. <laughs> uh, luckily it didn't. So, let's, yeah, let's go get that last tooth. Yeah, they just say the same thing every time. Let's see. Trippy, uh, uh, not trippy, tricky temple too. Okay. Yeah, do we have a return of the <laughs> the dark tendrils or whatever they are? Yeah, I, I, I'm surprised to see that, but they, they, <laughs> they, they look like something for a HP Lovecraft book. Okay. Ah, just a bit too high there. Okay, that is a bit annoying that if, you, if you're just running like you usually are, do they should go over that stupid thing, but okay. Just a small thing to keep in mind. Yes, we know how to run. Okay. You were saying? Yeah. Okay, we are a bit... It is a bit strict on time there. I don't know what it is. Rain is supposed to be a kid's game. Oh, I, I think I see what needs to be done there. You need to wall run. Uh, I think most. I think the only Rayman game that is like mature, or not not mature, but uh, ages ten and up, is I believe. There we go. Uh, Rayman three. Yeah, didn't need. Hmm. It shouldn't have flown there, or hovered, or whatever. But yeah, these, <laughs> the end game stuff with this one certainly isn't for kids, I'd say. There we go. Yeah, so the thing about that, uh, due to difficult as well. Well, as I commented to be some friends before uh, we started that. Uh, ah, damn this it. is not the only game I know that has nymphs. Like, uh, like, it's more like they're fairies with a different name, but yeah. Yeah, like there the, are the games with nymphs, but games with nymphs are usually. How to say this? Either 14 and up or 18 plus. Yeah. Jake so, seeing right. nymphs in Rayman. Oh, damn it. They, 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 that makes me you question: Is this supposed for the with kids? Or are we, to, are we not realize it is more similar to something like a Simpsons or something like that. It's a bit more of an adult cartoon. Well, or something between. <laughs> well, I did show you that clip of that the animators made uh, of Rayman singing "Sex Bomb" of all things. I, I, I haven't, I haven't watched it, but I feel like I have seen it. I feel like I've seen it as a commercial. Uh, I don't, I don't know the full story behind that clip, but what I do know is that the the animators were just having a bunch of fun with it. Uh. Oh dear. But yeah, it, it's also a bit of a cultural difference since, yeah, uh, well, <clears throat> the developers of yeah, damn it, the developers of Rayman are French. Oh, yeah. And I'm not Is talking it? the stereotypical we surrender cultural stuff, like just differences in uh, 
yeah, thoughts on maturity and such. Yeah, like, like in, in Japan, the anime such, I have gotten used to it. But the reason I'm not to, seen too much French made media things, it usually takes me off guard when uh, mm -hmm. you see a game from France. Yeah. So I have grown used to more and more use of that the just European games in general are a bit different uh, from uh, anything made in America. And we are starting to notice that has a European games in general and Japanese game or how to say less yeah, I hope I'm using this term correctly, less prude. Uh, less prudish, you could say, yeah. Yeah. Also, hi, Noon. Ah, oh. oh, hello, little Noon! Unwin! Noon? Oh, wait, no, not Noon. No. But yeah, in, in general, uh, in, in, in general, American uh, media is a lot more, well, less comfortable would be a different way of saying it, with uh, showing nudity and such. Yep, unless, okay. unless it's aimed to be 18 plus, but even then they can be very uncomfortable, unless it's, it's made in their own country. If it's made outside country, and this game is 18 plus, they will be censor it, except their own games. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, not to have Americans, but I mean, yeah, but Americans censorship, they all kind of hypocritical. I think uh, a YouTuber called the Illuminati. Uh, damn it! I keep getting high, too high on that jump. Uh, I think a, a YouTuber called Illuminati did a video on the American uh, rating system a while back. She's a pretty good channel to follow. They're very informational. I think I may have seen her video recommended to me at some point. Gee. But I avoid it due to the day of what Illuminati. Okay, it must be a joke channel or something. Yeah, the, the only thing that's a joke about it is the name. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, after stream, I'll look up the video on that uh, and send it to you. Um, for now, I'm going to. I'm not keeping count, but I think we've done this in about a dozen times now. Here we go. It's a bit hard to time there. And there we go. That is the last one. Oof. Hallelujah! Uh, maybe, maybe when I process this uh, clip, I'll just uh, put in a counter just how many times I died on that. Uh, let's see. Amazing, you found all the teeth. The antidote land delivered that uh, via the snoring tree, if you dare. So, uh, let's see. Which one was that again? There we go. And all of the ones. <laughs> okay, someone's happy now. Let's see. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't expect that. Uh, watching climb back up with all of his teeth gone now. Aww. And yeah, this is a lot less cheerful than last time we were here, huh? Okay, that's some, uh, some tulips. Okay. Eh, I thought this would be an entirely new world, not an, an extra level from the looks of it. Out. Hmm. Yeah, whoop. Yeah. Same mistake. Yeah, wait, wait, are they? They're playing Joe de Boo with skulls. <laughs> 
Oh dear. Uh, okay. Again, we have to we have to punch her or just float over her there. There we go. So this is where all the mother-in-laws go. See, I still don't get the trope. Like, it, it, when I, it, the, of all tropes, I feel like it's all used. Well, there's a lot of. Yeah. It's the whole hating the mother-in-law. Yeah, going to, go. to, it's, a, it's more than a trope at this point. Oop. Okay, those fall away. Oop. God, uh, damn it. You know, wonder how did the whole, the, the whole thing start even? Uh, no clue really. There we go. Then we bounce off of her to get. Damn it! Oh, that. That. That felt like a bullshit move from the game. Okay, can we just float over? No, we 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 will hit that point if we try to fly and get over without bouncing. Here we go. One, two. There we go. And sort of expected that to be death. Hmm. Now, so the squeaks they give, they sound more like, They sound almost like the, uh, the squeaky toy fish. Hey there. And I keep, I keep thinking if one of them gets eaten by the flowers. Uh, they do pop, so I'd say they are. Hmm. If this is, if it, I thought this, yeah, like I said, I thought this would be an entire world, but if it's a, a long extended uh, higher difficulty level, then we might be done with this sooner than I thought. Okay. But I, that I never would be a shame, really. Yeah. So you spend so much time gathering the damn uh, teeth. I will see once we, well, manage to make progress in this. <laughs> like, I'm okay with single levels, but you need to do a little bit of a challenge for, but if it's gonna be a very challenging single level to unlock, then it better not be a short, easy one or so, or something like that. But. No, I already take a long, easy one and a short, extremely hard one. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Okay, somehow that worked. Here we go. Okay, those pull away on their own, so we really need to be speedy in crossing them. It is a fair challenge so far, though. It's just that the only thing I'd complain about is that that one's hitbox for landing on them is a bit small. There we go. And of course, I managed to jump too high. Okay, pra practice makes perfect. You know what you need? Hmm? A few hearts. <laughs> One, two, there we go. Ooh. Okay, that is a really tight jump there. Hmm. Maybe it would be a good idea to head out for a moment to get a, <laughs> a heart somewhere. Okay, let's give it a few more runs. 
I, I agree with you that noon that practice always makes perfect reflect and reflecting on things. I agree with that. But it does get a bit very draining when I mean, you only have one health old school style and every in one simple mistake and you have to do, redo the whole thing. Just <laughs> case and point there on that's that hitbox being really tiny there okay yeah and it probably also why i dislike the rule you only have one health bar for in many cases they can your space then they, they, they just have more encouragement to make it harder on some areas here we go I'm not sure if extra hearts would help too much here. Since no. There we go. Oh, for love of. In some places, like with the. where the vine starts growing out, it doesn't matter if you have extra hearts because you just get hit again. Uh, but yeah, what I meant with uh, processing is. I uh, we've we've managed to just about finish uh, yeah fill up another hard drive with the recordings of these streams uh, and yeah just I did find out that if I run them through the video editing software they do get downsized by out by like uh, two thirds but at this point it would take it, it yeah for each of those it would take about well 40 minutes to get that done so. Downsizing all of those won't be that uh, helpful, I'd say. But any new ones... Oh, damn it. For any new recordings, like the, this one, uh, I will run them... Uh, I will try to remember to run them through that. Okay, there oh, we go. Dear. Go. Long jump, short jump, medium jump, and jump way too early. Okay. Yep. Okay, that was just dumb of me. Okay. Punch you, stomp you. Get slapped by you. Yeah. I still feel like it was a good idea for us to save this for a separate episode. There we go. Feed you to your own plants. But I suspected that this may take longer than expected. <laughs> there we go. Hover a bit. Slide a Almost was too high on that, I'm pretty sure. There we go. And that was just one room. Oh, it is a checkpoint! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, just full freaking speed ahead. Okay, that was a hover. And now we get uh, the Granny's Grand Tour music. They almost got me there. Falling behind. Yep. Still in it, still in it to win it. And too late. <laughs> okay. Damn it. Why? Why? Okay, we need to hover just a short time there. Yep. <laughs> Okay. I'm not away, I heard you die. There we go. Ooh. 
Oh, no checkpoints. Up, oh, damn it. Okay, that, oh, come on. <laughs> this is the this is the not oh, knuckly a checkpoint there still after all. This is the good kind of tension, I'd say. Like it is, it is tough. You need to keep oh, your wits about. Uh, ow. But it's not like. Uh, actually, this would probably be the the same amount of tension you'd get at late <laughs> late game uh, meat boy levels or something, because this has a big meat boy feel to it. <laughs> Maybe I'm feeling more like a, a old arcane feel, like Oop. it's meant to drain your coins. Oop. Oh, that was it. Okay. There we go. And another room done. Okay, the first part was frustrating, I'll admit, but ooh. it is getting into its flow. Go. Boing. Okay, we need to we need to slam down on that one to get more height. Slam dunk. There, there. There we go. Feed you to your flowers. Uh, okay, I guess Cthulhu is visiting. Ooh, almost got me there. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Grandma. The heck? Uh, yeah, we were just a tiny bit short on that jump. Alternatively short. Oh, 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 I see. <laughs> Those with the purple hair have needles in their hair, so you can't slam on them. So you have to punch them from the side up. You short. Oh yeah, that's, actually, that's actually the first they introduced that with uh, yeah, enemies you can't attack from a certain direction. Yeah. Go. Would have been... Uh, it, it could have been... Ow. <laughs> okay, shove the entire... Coughing up his ass. That could have been interesting earlier on in the game. Like, uh, Sugar Convoy recently started a new Let's Play, this time of uh, Paper Mario, and that also has enemies that you can't attack from certain directions. Like, you can't jump on certain and out. You can't jump on certain enemies because they have spiked helmets or such. Hmm. Yeah, this is my I do approve of. But that means that you have uh, at least... Di you need to use different tactics for each mob. Yep. Okay, here we go. I kind of like it in games does that. However, I do know it's not an easy thing to do for that. For there's always a risk that you have that one mob. That's just way too much of a pain to deal with. Yeah, there's often those in games. Uh, come on, keep up the speed. Yep. Jumped out of instincts. Yeah, if, if we had to do this all in one single go, then I definitely probably would, I probably would have thrown this controller out the window. Uh, luckily, they're closed. But having them cut, cut up like this does yeah, make it work. Yep. Hey, yeah. I don't think it matters if they're closed or not, if you were angry enough. <laughs> or is there wooden windows? Nope, and bye again, Grandma, bye again, Grandma. Okay, we could have bounced off of her. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay, instinct was to break on. <laughs> You uh, no, we're going to be outrunning the fire. Oop. Yep. 
Wait. Something's with this area. Fire scaly thing. I hope those are great. You just great. Maybe they are great stones. But it different kind of tentacles? Yep. You you Okay, timing is going to be tight on this. Yep. It, the flames, the, the flame hitbox are a tiny bit weird. Or am I just dodging them by microseconds on that bit there? Ooh. Yep. Went too far left. Let's see. Noon says you can do it. Yeah. yeah, thank you for that. And well, we are making continuous progress, slowly but surely. Like, oh dear! No, now I remember a a video Mocky player watched one of those trying to love, but it was a video he couldn't love. He just he just felt inspired. Inspired when there was some, uh, I think it was a Japanese commercial, an old one where a dude just go home and just start inspiring you and you'll say, you can do it, and all that. I forgot the entire speech, but... Yeah. If you watch ever, ever watch uh, Monkey Player's uh, Try Not To Love videos, you probably will find it. Probably, okay. More controlled bursts. Ooh. Ooh. Gotta keep going. Up. Okay, that would be a lot easier if the vine wasn't there, but that's exactly why the vine is there. Too late on the, you know, too far on the jump, too early on the jump. There we go. Hold on. Okay, th this this is fun though. The the first part was the worst part. And well, the fact that we later. Can't restart. <laughs> there. Yeah, maybe you should do some of those death counters on each one of these <laughs> levels. Uh, probably not put up a, a count for everything, but I will probably do a count of the death. The, the, <laughs> The tries in total or something. Okay. Oh now they're mixing them. Ooh. Oh, yep. I thought. Okay, checkpoint, luckily. Yeah, and I think I can see now what's happening with the fire. Like, the whole smoke is. It's not smoke, I think. Accelerant or something? I think mean, it's... It might be some kind of gas that's... Well... Flammable. Could be. Okay. That is... That is a tricky one there. Let's see. Set this off to fall. Go after it. There we go. We had to slow down a bit there. Oh. Yep. Since these only fall when we stand on them. So just to hover a bit. Woohoo! Dang! <laughs> Where's from Nguyen? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, we, we have to wait for that first part to fall down past it. There we go. Now, is there a timing on this here, or am I just getting lucky with the fire boss? That's like the third in a row. That's this. Great balls of fire? Wait. We, we have seen Rayman do disco dance. Is, is this. No. No, it's wrong kind of music. It's not Disco Inferno. No. 
look more like guitar rock. Okay. Uh, Slow down. Not r rock. I'm too focused on if the fire boss that I missed the flame. If, if, if it's western, as in wide western. Okay. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Keep overlooking the stupid flame because I'm too focused on the fireballs. Okay. Like I said, slow down a bit. There. Okay, what is the timing on those fireballs? It seems like we, we jumped right between them earlier. Yep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Helian, what are we gonna do with you? There, there, there. <laughs> okay, I need to keep in mind that the f the smoke doesn't harm, so I don't. I need don't. Yeah, I can jump later than it seems. Oh dear. Is it I, I'm thinking of a song I not heard in a damn long time. I knew it was very heavily memed before meme became a word again. I think. For the fire and the flames. Uh, move. We didn't mm. start the flame war. Here we go. Correct timing, goes right between, goes underneath the flame. There we go, we have the timing down, I think. If, I, if I'd been hit by that last one, it, oh, hello. What the heck? Yeah, welcome to the final boss. Okay, jump to the other arm. Yeah, th this looks like an endless horror. <laughs> Just... Um... Okay, I saw the bump appear there, so to the other arm. Oop, dodge that. Back to the first. Yep. Okay, that was really there for just a moment. And reset. Okay. There, there. Yeah, they really give you only a tiny amount of time for that. Okay. <laughs> that voice. Yeah, the, 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 I wonder what, 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 who is singing that one. It's, it's not her. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> uh, favorite voice. Unless it's the mushroom you bounce on. It stops uh, after you bounce on it. Okay, other arm. Is this supposed to be the final boss? Yep. I almost had it there. Okay, hurry. Yep. <laughs> Get spiked by the other bracelet. Holy. Can we... Okay, we can't stand on the other side. We're going to hear that a lot. <laughs> that little humming. Oh, what is humming? Is it just... Singing? Oh, oh, come on, I have that. Okay. It... <laughs> 
<laughs> How everyone reacts when they see a fly on them. There we go. Okay. Nope, that's not a platform anymore. <laughs> okay, I saw where the bump was next. There's a face on the mushroom. There we go. To the other. Jump down. Around. There we go. Yeah, at least we're saving her <laughs> awesome <laughs> eyewear. Almost. Okay, we need to jump to the other. Oh, too early. Okay. Miss. Okay, restart the cycle. Got you. Okay, this is getting easier with time. Okay, first the stabbing. Okay, I could have easily dodged that one. And one, and the two. Three and gotcha. What was she supposed to be? Same mistake there. I need to stay on the right side. Is it supposed to be the elder grandma or something? Uh, we'll see. Otherwise, ooh, I'll tell. Okay. One dunk. Two dunk. Three dunk. Mm, there we go. Yeah, that was the last nymph. What the heck? Yeah. Oh, oh, hello. Was this here before? Okay. <laughs> now we can mess these up. Oh, hello, Mitch L. Oh, Sal. <laughs> or Mel. <laughs> but yeah, that I. Okay, I think I know why I thought it would be an entirely new world. And that's because in Rayman Legends, the, there is also a land of the living dead, if I recall correctly, which is an entire world. Hey, so you just mixed up. Yeah. <laughs> and... uh, yeah, now we are fully done with this game. Well, not 100%, but fully done as far as we uh, we generally care. Yeah. And wish it winked at us. I already wonder what you're gonna do with Rayman. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will agree that the story in this. It, it's mostly just an excuse story, like uh, how Peach always gets kidnapped by Bowser and such. Uh, because, yeah, it. <laughs> what sets everything off with uh, yeah, Rayman and the gang pacing off the undead grannies seems to be completely disconnected from uh, yeah the nightmare that has changed the kings and such uh, 
or maybe it is connected and it's just not really explained well or something. It's not that there's it, much explanation anyways. Yeah, that's it. it well, I like this game. It is very autistically and looks nice a lot of, but... Oh, Dutch version. But I, you tracks MML <laughs> the Dutch <laughs> Dutch fires. <laughs> okay. Yay! Right, uh, right. What was it is the the only the only thing I feel sad about this game is that there was no story to it. Yeah, a, a bit more of a structured story would have been nice. But like I said, it was mostly just an excuse to get these idiots moving. And again, you could say that uh, because they were just slacking off the entire time, that that's how the nightmare managed to get hold or something. Yeah, possibly. Or I would not be surprised if there was a plan to do more story thing, but they end up not having enough time sense that would mean you need to translate all the text yeah and i i think this game at the time was a bit quite a bit of a risk uh, since well the last time that rayman was around it was with the freaking rabbits and well fans did not like the rabbits at all yeah i remember the commercials they just Bloody heck, how old was I? <laughs> I? I don't know, my, I think I don't know my reaction was... What the fuck is this? Yeah, this game is 11 years old now. Uh, actually, no, 10 years, we're not in 2023 just yet. We're getting there, but not yet, because this game came out in 2012. Yeah, but when, come, when came the rabbits? Uh, somewhere in the zeros, if I recall. Rayman 3 was released on 2004, I think. That means that between this game and that, there's almost a 10 year gap. Uh, I'll actually look it up right now. When did Rayman Raven, uh, Raven, Raving Rabbits release? And, uh... Yeah, for, I think I was younger than I now, obviously. And I, I think I only could watch a, saw the commercial for those damn rabbits. I thought, yeah, what the? Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's just it's, it's more like, what the heck? Is there what the fuck? Okay, they came out in 2006. Years, so yeah. Oh, yeah, then I can definitely see me go, what the heck is this? Who would play this? And apparently, yeah. so. Some kids loved it, and some kids hated it. <laughs> yeah, that, that is the general, like, <laughs> the general uh, reaction I, I believe to the rabbits. Like, some people absolutely hate them, and some, yeah, really like them. <laughs> yeah, the, most people I think I met that liked them. Uh, they always behave, behave like them to begin with. Okay. Uh, shall we cut the credits short? Uh, we still have over an hour left, uh, usually, so we could we could give No One Lives Forever 2 a quick start, or a, sh a short start. Be up for that. Says I don't think we see, we see any end credits scene here. Nah. <laughs> this, is, this isn't Rayman Avengers. <laughs> okay. Uh, back to the Blade of Dreams. Uh, last time then, when I did two streams back-to-back, uh, -back, I ended the stream first before starting a new. Uh, this time I won't do that. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just cut it, it apart in processing. So for now... Uh, yeah, yeah just to write a note about it or something. Yeah. Uh, let's see... 40, 40, yeah, 55 minutes about, okay.